All right, what's going on guys? So today we're gonna do a little unboxing of another tool just to uh, add to the garage. Now, I already have a Dremel, but the uh, the old one that I have, the brushes went out. I know I could probably just replace the brushes, but uh, Home Depot didn't have brushes, so I just went ahead and bought a new Dremel. So, I ended up getting the, uh, the Dremel 4200. Um, this is what the packaging looks like right here. So it's a high performance output rotary tool with easy change. So it has this cool little like cutoff wheel thing that supposedly is quicker for you taking the uh, the cutoff wheels in and out. So overall, that should be pretty cool. I don't know. Um, we'll check it out. So first off, let's just go ahead and open the box. Um, it looks like it does come with a variety, like a multiple multiple couple of tools on there. Uh, yeah, I mean these. I don't know, they seem all right. I did buy one additional tool for the task that I'm gonna do. Um, you guys eventually will see what I'm gonna be doing. Um, it's pretty cool, it's been done before, but uh, if you guys haven't seen it, I think it's pretty cool and I just wanted to make one, so I thought why not do a DIY video on it when I do it. So let's just pull this thing out of here. This packaging is basically just extra just extra packaging, just extra cardboard, nothing really inside there, so throw that away. All right, so it's got the nice little case, Dremel 4200, it's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so I did open it up on the correct side, so that's nice. So, first things first, we got this little piece of cardboard. I don't know what's up with that. I really don't know why. Um, this... This is just kind of floating in here. These are the uh, these are the tools that it came with. These are the additional tools. Um, it's a little piece of tape on there to keep them all in, but it's kind of floating in there. I mean, it doesn't really have that great of an open spot, but you can see I got like some stuff. This is like a wire wheel. This is a uh, this is a plastic one for doing other stuff. Uh, what else do we have? We have like a little extension. We have these Easy Connect pads. So those should be kind of cool. Um, if you guys haven't used a Dremel before, they can they can be kind of a pain in the butt to uh, you know put on and off the uh, attachments, just because you always have to get out your little tool. So that's kind of cool. So overall, now we have the uh, the actual tool itself, the actual Dremel. So you know, cord's about I don't know four or five, probably five feet long, uh, maybe six feet long, something like that. Um, has a nice little attachment here. This actually screws off so that you can put on other attachments. Um, like for instance, they have this. This is for sharpening like lawnmower blades and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool. You can just, you can basically just insert it in there and then just, burp, just grind away, do your whole thing. Um, this was kind of neat. I thought this was kind of cool because then you can like, you can basically clamp the Dremel down and it's just like a little, almost just like a little, I don't know, like a little bench or something. Uh, but I think it also is for, I don't exactly know what it's for, but it does have an angle here. So that might be a certain degree of angle for uh, getting certain stuff. Has a little guard here. So that this is kind of nice right here for when things are floating around, of you know, 32,000 RPM or whatever this thing cranks out to. And then, again, this is like for like, almost like routing stuff out. Uh, so that's like, if you're on something, just you know, just buzzing it out or whatever. So anyways, though, I basically just bought this to uh, kind of use as a die grinder. I mean, that's what it is. But uh, just to get in precision um, for a task that I'm gonna be doing. So overall though, I just wanted to kind of show this to you guys. Uh, just because it's a new addition to the garage. And I just wanted to show you guys like this new little attachment method. Uh, let's try it out. So, what do you do? It looks like it looks like you uh, you pull down on this little piece right here. See that? You guys can maybe see it. Do do do. So that pulls down. Let's see what you do. See so you. I'm guessing you pull down on it and then. Okay, yeah. So you push, you can pull down, you put the head in there, and then you rotate and twist this. Now all of a sudden, uh, this thing is locked in pretty good. Well, I mean, not pretty good, it, it actually is locked in. So that's kind of cool. 
Now, kind of weird though, it does have a little bit of a side deflection. So that's kind of odd. Um, you know, I don't know if I did it right. I think I did it right. But, you know, you're not going to get that when this thing's screaming, buzzing around, you know. You're not going to you're not going to feel any of that action. But to me that's kind of odd because you can be, you know, sometimes when you're taking a turn, I don't know. I mean, the gyro effect, but eh. Dremel's obviously got it figured out though. It must be good. I don't know. They they thought of it, so it must be cool. But anyways, that's a lot quicker. Um, that's a lot quicker to take on and off. Let's take it off again. Boom. Just It just kind of spins right off there. So I like that. That's pretty nice. Now they also are doing that with these uh, sanding discs. So let's try that out. Push. Uh, they pull down. Rotate it. 180 and then bam it's just clicked in so it was pretty cool I guess um, I like that lock in for the sandpaper a little bit better uh, I can get it out of here okay got it off so anyways I mean that's pretty much it let me just show you guys what else it uh what else it comes with so comes with you know multiple ones of these little uh, sandings uh, for sanding comes with those uh, another piece here I'm not quite sure what that does I think that adapts for like the uh, the like hose not a hose but the uh, the flex attachment I think that's for the flex attachment no clue uh, but then you have your you know just your grinding stones so those are nice to have and some of your little bits for um, like carving stuff out and whatnot so Anyways, I mean, that's uh, that's pretty much it. You got your instruction booklet right here. Plugging this Dremel in real fast. Let's just crank her on, see what it does. Started out at 5,000. All right, rev her out. See if we can't smell those new brushes. That's 35,000 RPM right there, so yeah. And overall, I think it's uh, pretty cool. It's been in pretty quick. Um, that tones it down. Back down to 500. Like before, where you'd have to have a tool. I thought what this did was uh, like locked it down to where you could, you know, put your little tool on it, your little wrench, spanner wrench, and because normally you like lock down the motor. But what this actually does is you just pull back on it. You just crank back, boom, and it loosens up. The actual bit so it loosens up the chuck that it has or whatnot or like the little squeezing mechanism so that is actually really like that that's really cool um because like i said before if you guys have ever had a dremel uh if you have like the regular one it's a pain to change to change pieces but look at that that's i mean yank it back boom put it in there you know it's in bam pull it out so that's that's really quick um, cause you know how often these things break too. I mean, when you're doing something, you're usually going at it and you're not actually like doing the task the correct way or like in the correct method. And you end up just kind of just going crazy on it. And then the bit breaks or like the, the wheel just freaking whoa, spins into a thousand pieces. That's why you want to wear eye protection, but spins into a thousand pieces. Um, and then you got to put a new one on. So anyways, guys, that is pretty much the whole thing here um let me know if you liked it if you liked that video let me know uh just like if you guys haven't subscribed yet i usually do subaru videos and stuff but like when i get a new tool to add to the garage or you know or i'm gonna do like something that uh, i may be using on a project i just like to introduce that tool to you guys that way you know you know what i'm using and you might want to go out and get one it might be something that you guys have been looking at maybe you don't have a dremel these things are really universal you can do a lot of things with them so pretty cool all right thanks guys uh thanks for watching uh we'll talk to you soon later guys and peace out